out. Okay, great. Is it blinking red for you all? Sweet. <clears throat> okay, so these are um, these are window frame designs. They go above doors, and they're kind of very characteristic of uh, Baltimore. And there was like a, a Baltimore glass company that made all of these, and they're really they're really gorgeous. Um, they're definitely like have some kind of like you can almost imagine like the sun rising you know, and then, you know, shooting rays out or setting, however you want to see it. Um, but there's a whole bunch of them and they're all over Baltimore. And, you know, these row houses are kind of characteristic of our city. And some of them, some of these are kind of sweet. So basically they all have to, um, they're all metal bars that hold glass in place. So they're like, they're, um, they're, they think they can be stained glass windows um, they can be very ornate, very complex, you know, lots of curves, and then they can be, you know, very simple too. Um, so I thought it'd be fun just to like practice some of these. And I'm, I'm an architect, so like my, my, my degree is in architecture. So whenever I get to sketch architecture, it kind of makes me happy. Um, and I'll, you know, I'll sketch these right along with you. So um, let's start with like the top of the door frame. We'll start with, the, with basically where the bar has to line the bottom. So I'm just gonna draw a, a horizontal line right here. And when you make your pencil mark, um, Jacob, you wanna make sure you think about it like it is like metal. You know, almost like instead of drawing a line, you wanna imagine you're actually drawing, you know, it's almost like sculpting with metal. So let's try this straight line that goes across. And however long that is, that's going to be the size of the semicircle. So you, know, you kind of have to, you know, this is the, this is the part that's like, you know, I would say a little bit challenging because we're not, we're going to freehand it. We're not going to um, you know, use a compass. An architect would actually use a compass, but this is a warm up for us. So I'm trying to get a semicircle that runs across the top. And if you can get the big one, um, you can, probably get the, 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 the small one. So we went, we fit, we went from corner to corner. You have the one side of the end to the other. So we have to find the middle so that we can then start the smaller one equal distance off from that center. So I, I had to find the middle of our line and then we'll make a small arch. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So we have one flat line and two semicircles, and they're they're half circles. And again, there's a tool called a compass that you can swing and you can make. Um, you yeah, have a compass. Make perfect circles. But it doesn't work really well. <laughs> it takes a little getting used to. It. You have to you have to practice it a little bit. Um, okay, so if you have, and then uh, Brooks, do you have both of your lines? The big line and the small line. Jacob, do you have both of your the big the big circle and the small circle? Yes. Yes. Cool. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. No. No. I no. messed up. <laughs> um. Yeah. It's gonna just try it again. I'm gonna slide my paper over. I'll do it. I'll do it again with you because we're gonna have multiple. Let me slide this over. What did do you know what you messed up on? The inside, the um, the, the inside circle, the, the um, ow, um, the the um, lines, the lines. Um, oh, the ones that I haven't put in yet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, well, this might help. So, um, Mr. Messick, do the one, that, and Jacob, see if you can, if you want to erase, you can, you can erase the ones that you did. Um, do the one that's in the middle first, and that breaks it into half. I'm doing a cram, so I can't erase. Okay. Yeah, then you just have to do a second one. Nice, Mr. Messick. You're, you're there, buddy. Um, Maybe just hold off until the next one, and then we'll go slower next time. Um, and then that was me, Jacob. We have to use. That's what I said, Jacob. 
No, but I, I saw him this, I saw Brooks as he put his up. Um, so we started from the middle and then we have to like maybe sketch lightly, even with your crayon, you can sketch really lightly. And we're gonna try and get two equal sections on the right. You know, those lines, you know, these lines are gonna be equal distance apart. You can also think about them as like pieces of pie. So you want everybody to get the same piece of pie. And if your lines are off a little bit, you can just make the lead thicker, <laughs> make the metal bigger. Um, you can actually see where the, um, in the corners where they connect, there's like these little triangles. And it's kind of a way that they have the, the outside arch meet with the inside frame. Mm -hmm. Yes, Brooks. Well done. Well done, sir. Um, the, the, this one, the next one. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. This one, I think, is almost exactly like this one, except it's got these other arches. So you could kind of put these inner arches like this and just turn the first one into the second one. I just noticed that myself. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just point to point, little arch to arch. And then there seems to be some kind of, um, I don't know if it's like a fan or a leaf, some kind of, some kind of decorative element in the middle. Um, let's see, Jacob, can I see what you did? Oh, nice. Okay, your second one's fantastic. So good, 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 good. Um, good recovery, man. Seriously, it's uh, whenever you get to recover from a uh, from a mishap, it takes, it takes courage and it takes patience. Oh, Stacy. Hello, oh. Trevor. How are you? Uh, a lot better now that I get to see you wearing those glasses. <laughs> All the better to see you, my dear. You are. How fan. is everyone today, Jacob sure. Brooks? Uh, oh, good. Same everyone's, here. Doing, everyone's doing great. We got thumbs up across the board. I'm waiting for Michaela. I wonder if Michaela's on spring break. Who knows? Oh. We're, we're going to leave for spring break on next week. Okay, so next Yeah, week. mine is on Saturday. Will you guys nice. will you guys still come to class next week? Um no, I have a week. Um I have a week of spring break. Okay. Well, I'll take that into account. All right. Let's try one of the funky ones. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Kind of funky. So this one's a lot like the last one, actually. Um, but it's, it's got um, inner, it's got these inner um, decorations. And the loop, like the setting sun, the sun uh, that line is bigger. Okay, so let's just give it a try. Let's just start from the beginning. Um, I'm going to keep these next to one another so I can almost use the one I drew as an example. So I'm going to first draw the flat line. Stace, we're, um, we're building these are um, actually windows from row houses in Baltimore City. These um, look like, um, these look like oranges. Ooh, good comparison. Absolutely. Yeah, they do look like oranges. And they look like they're um, like the little sections of oranges, even when they're like sliced. You can actually, you know, see the, or a grapefruit even. Um, okay, so I've got my, the length of my window, which is basically based on the door frame. So if I like put this down here, this would actually be the start of the door. You see that space, and then these go above the door. Um, and then I'm gonna try and do my arc. Trying to make that as, even as possible. I always make my arches a little flat for some reason. Some people might make them tall, some people might make them flat. It, you just get the hang of it. Um, the next middle arch, I'm still gonna start from the middle, but the one, the arch that's in the, in the, the arch that you make, it's, it's a bigger arch. So I'm gonna go like halfway out on either side. As long as they're out from the, um, the center, it should work. This arch is a lot bigger than the first one. It looks almost like a rainbow. Um, and then these are subdivided again. Nice, nice, Jacob. From what I can tell, it looks right. 
um, we get the center, and then we're gonna break each side, you know, add two more bars to each side, evenly spaced. And then I'm wondering if, you know how I put this line, um, this dot in the middle to, to show like the middle of the line of the base? I wonder if it, it should look like the bars radiate out from that point. You see what I mean by radiating? The point in the middle, all of those bars are linked up as if they all spring from the same point. And whenever anything radiates from the same point, um, it's a design element that's called, you know, they call it radiation. Um, it's different than the, and the sun radiates. Um, all of the rays are coming out equally in every direction. <clears throat> okay, cool. So then we'll do the, the same arches from point to point as we did for the first one. And then it's gonna get good. Then we have at the, at the connector, I'm gonna put a circle, you know, where the, where the lines connect to the smaller circle. And then I'm gonna connect them again, just like we did the first ones. Except they're smaller arches. And then you can almost imagine that they spiral. They come through and they spiral, come through and they spiral. It's really, it's nice, spiral, very organic. You know, you can imagine like a vine or um, a little tendril, you know, coming out. Nice, Brooks. All right, everybody's in the game. And then I promise guys, we'll go into some spaceships after this. <laughs> We might do one more funky one, like really funky one. Um, they get all the way in. They go, they, the, the, the spirals happen all the way to the bottom. Oh, um, I just realized um, the one that you're doing has hard after the, um, the lines. Yeah, like little, like, yeah, you can call them At the end of the lines. Oh, wow, I didn't see that either. You're amazing. All right, I might switch over to use a, uh, I don't know if you saw that too, uh, Brooks, but at the ends up here, this is what you're talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, look at those little hearts. This is like the, uh, this is where the queen of hearts lives. That looks great. Good observation, man. Thank you so much. Um, and then I did not put these inside of a border, and I'm wondering what that border means. You know, there's this like thin line that frames it out. I wonder if that's supposed to be wood, you know, because I think the, the glass is installed into a wood frame, you know, because the door, most of the houses are made out of wood. At least the frames are made out of wood, and then that wood be attached to either brick or stone, probably brick. Well, I think the wood would be attached. I see what you did there. Uh -huh, you used uh -huh. the word wood, W-O-O-D, in the same way you would use wood, W-O-U-L-D. It's clever. It's clever. Thank you. I thank you. Um, all right. Where'd my rocket ships go? Stacy? did you steal them? I would never steal okay. a rocket ship. I might think about stealing something other than a rocket ship. Never a rocket ship. What are you? No. Han, are you Han Solo? Han Solo. No. No, no, no. Steal <laughs> rocket ships. We actually didn't really steal it. That's right. Please, please support me, guys. Oh, we support you, Stace. All right. So, well, Brooks and Jacob, do you want to show me your uh, windows that you've drawn so far? Would you like to? I didn't oh draw God. any windows. Okay, hold on, Brooks. Let's take a look. Hold that nice and still. Like, freeze. Thank you. Okay. And Jacob, let's see that. Oh, my goodness. You're doing it darker, so it's easier to see. Freeze <laughs> that. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, 23. Okay, good.
All right. Um, so hopefully you guys don't think these are too childish. I sketched a couple of them yesterday and it was a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys can get on board with these. Oh, Stacy, check this out. I got a little aquamarine today. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? That color is, is that color uh, almost like a pale blue green gray? gray? Yeah, like, no, it's, it's like, yeah. It's like it's like a water blue. It's like a what kind of frog is that? It's called, it's, called, it's called aquamarine. Most of the times they're really I, I know I know what aquamarine is. Good. Yeah, a lot of times they're like really expensive because um you put them in jewelry, they get <clears> finely <throat> cut and then positioned into jewelry. This one was not very expensive. Oh, my goodness. Um all right. Yeah, the color what? is beautiful. What's that? The color is beautiful, and I was just going to say nice. that, um, you know, these rocket ships are flying very close to one another. I know. So I they know. must be they they must be very well trained pilots. I think they could be they could be on autopilot. They could be Tesla. They could. They could be Tesla autopilots. <laughs> right. Self, self driving. Self driving. Um, thruster. What's that? One has a whistle for the thruster. I know. The, uh, are you talking about this one? Oh, a whistle. Yes, that one has a whistle for the thruster. And there's a hot chili pepper. This one has a chili pepper. Oh, it yeah. Has a whole new, which has a whole new oh, meaning. and there's. To being hot. There's a spool of thread. Oh, yeah, there's a spool of thread. And then this one, there's a rolling pin in there. So this is part of some like hidden pictures. Um, all right, you guys ready to fire this up? Uh, no pun intended. I know my pun was definitely kind of intended there. Um, okay, so yes. what I did, the way I was sketching these yesterday, um, I didn't sketch these, but I sketched the other ones. What I found was that if you sketch the base of the pod, so you draw like where the pod um, connects to the ship and then you draw the little glass dome We can talk, we can worry about the guy later, um, you know, the person driving. Um, and then this is almost like the shape of an iron or like a flat, like a bullet, but like it's almost flat. So if you come up for the front, you know that the front is gonna be here and then it's gonna curve down the side. And it's gonna curve down the side here. Now you guys should be using pencil um, so that you know, you can erase some of the lines. So we're trying to get like the main shape and we'll be able to add stuff to it. Um, it's interesting because like they, they had a door frame, the ones that we just drew with, you know, had a door frame and this one kind of has a frame as well. So if you bring it down here and then you bring it up this side. So you can choose, you can choose whether you want to do the, um, you know, the rolling pin. There's a rolling pin in there. It's kind of hidden with this booster back here. There's like a rocket booster attached to the back. But like you said, it's a spool of thread. So you could draw the spool and then you get the, the rocket booster shooting out. But you know, there's even a string attached to it, but it doubles as the rocket blasting. Um, the other side has the has these like actual rings on this booster and it's interesting because it kind of looks like a it's like the same size as the spool and i think it's designed to look like a spool so that the spool is hidden properly it's like the idea is that you want the symmetry you want the, you want things on the left side to be about the same size as the things on the right so that your ma your eyes just glaze over it so you have to like look really hard to find the hidden picture um but when things are symmetrical um it you know it almost it it, it, it fools the eye i mean that's like kind of the point um I think the term in French for fooling the eye is called trompe l'oeil. 
And some people like to ah. paint, some, some people like to paint so realistically that you know if people walk past it, they actually think there's a you know, window on the wall because it's painted so realistically. <clears throat> um, okay, I feel good about this so far. Um, the, this particular ship looks like it has like some fins on it. So there's like a triangle fin up here on the on this side. Then there's a triangle fin on the left side. So whatever we're doing to the left, do the right to get the symmetry. Um, now the one that's on the bottom, you can see the one on the bottom from our side, but uh, I guess you can't, I guess maybe you could see part of it. The artist doesn't show that one on the other side, but I did. So I like feeling good about that. Um, there's a couple, There's a looks like there's a bumper on here. You add a bumper like to a car. I, can, I shaded that in dark because I screwed it up. And then there's looks like some ridges in the metal from this rocket ship. There's some ridges on the side of the booster, the ridges on the side of the frame. <clears throat> um, do we dare try to fit this the driver inside? I feel like we should try. Um, one of the things I found yesterday is that if you try to draw, try to draw the guy smaller than you think. Um, hmm. it, it just, it, the smaller you make the guy inside, the bigger the ship is. Um, and if you make the face too big, it won't fit inside the pod. So I'm just going to try and draw him with a small face. He's got a nose and a mouth and an eye, rounded head. Ah, he looks like a mouse. Looks like he's got his his back on a chair. A comfortable chair. It looks like a nice padded back comfortable chair. Two hands on some kind of joystick. I only say it's a joystick because I looked at the other ones and they kind of had, it wasn't like a steering wheel. It looked like a little, like some of them are steering wheels, but. No, I'm looking at her. It looks like she's got a steering wheel up here. I love this little guy. Um, so as far as your details go, um, you can make, you, I, I, there's, they, they didn't do any shading because the spa outer space is dark. So they wanted to stand out, but you guys can do some shading. Shade some things in darker. Um, in theory, you could even shade in outer space. You darken some of your lines, some stripes. Trevor? Yes, Dace. Whoa. Would you contemplate? Nice, dude. Good one. All right, so we want, I oh, think we want there you the go. Hold that extra still. Nice. Um, if you're good, if I'm going too slow, um, this, the, the one in front of it is kind of the same thing. It's just a little bit smaller. And it's got a, um, it's got like a pointed tip, but it's got fins. It's in the shape of a, like a, like a bullet. So, um, ooh, yeah. And the bump, the bumper is round and not straight. There's differences. Um, I might sketch this one. I might sketch this one just to do it quickly. Um, the one behind it though, the one behind it is going to be really exciting. So you can either there, um, sketch the, the, the same one twice. Um, or you can just wait for me to be done and then we'll try the one that's a uniquely different. I just want to do one. Okay. Yeah, just hang out. It'll take it'll take me just a couple seconds. Um, look at this rocket booster back here. And this comes down the side. I'm going to look through the... I'm, I'm just like not going to do the chili pepper. Yes. That looks great. Yeah, and shading outer space. I did the hidden pictures. You did do the hidden pictures, or you left them out? I left them out. Okay. Yeah, I'm leaving the I'm leaving them out on this one. I said rocket booster. Yeah, I left mine out. Rocket booster. Me this, too. The middle of the second one looks almost like a rocket booster. There's a fin on the side. There's a fin on this side. 
And once you know the, the parts, then you can invent your own ship. That's like, that's all the, that's also the fun part. I mean, that's why, I, you know, this one has, I don't know if that's a croissant or something, but that like has a little bit of a backing. I love the, uh, the point of um, the ship. Hey boss. <laughs> Thought you were talking to me. <laughs> uh, you are the boss. Oh yeah. What's that? I think the art room is the one that's the next one down the hall on your right. I think it's. Uh... Oh, cool. I can't wait to see him. They had the uh, photographer come through when I was teaching a Zoom class the other day, and I, I got the pictures. Oh, nice. I want to see them. Um, so, yeah, uh, gentlemen, you can throw in some stars. You can throw in some constellations, big stars, small stars. Um, you don't even need like I when I you know they put a person on the inside of this pot and in, inside the, the glass pod like you can see through it, but in a way it almost like looks more natural, like you wouldn't be able to see through it. You know, I'm just like I could not agree with you more. You know what I mean? Like it, it looks more like yeah. it looks like you could see it in a movie now. It's not like less cartoony. I don't know. Maybe it's not as fun, but okay. So let me let me take thirty more seconds on this one. See if I can darken some of my lines. I made mine like a really big chip. Can I say? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Hold that nice and still. A little closer that. to you. There you go. I like that angle. I like the lines that you drew around the ship. It really shows motion. Yeah, I'm gonna actually, I might steal that idea, Brooks. Um, you know, if you add these I'm like- actually just trying to make it look like outer space. Well, you can blend, pencil blends pretty easily. So what I did yesterday, I can, sh can I show you the one I did yesterday? Okay, yeah, so here's the one that we did yesterday. And you can tell, I tried to, um, I tried to shade the background a little bit. Oh. And I the pencil, I used a softer pencil. And you know, the softer pencils just blend better. You know, it's the, the pencils that are really dark have softer lead and they do blend better. So if you're having if it's like if it's if it's not going very dark, you may not have a soft pencil. And you might just have to, you know, go back to your pencil I packet. Think I and, see the one here. Find a B, like find a B or an A B or something like that. Ooh. I think it's I think the one that you drew is in the top left of the camera. Let me zoom out a little bit. Yes, it is. Sorry. Right Sorry, there. I didn't have time. Oh hey Michaela. Did you make it? Yeah. Oh nice. good. Hi Michaela. I see you. I can see you. I can see you waving. Um all right, so yeah, you came actually at a good time. We um, just finished our second uh, ship, and the ship, the the spaceship that we did was like the first two were very similar. Um, sometimes I like to draw things that are similar so you, everyone can get practice, um, and you know it's gonna be helpful. But the next one, we're gonna do this one back here, and this one is a. Um, it looks it looks almost like a. Um, it really feels like a like a like a real rocket ship in that it's got um we should um after that one we should do um the submarine one the one a bit other one above it yes all right let me it has a book on it it does i think all the ships have a little something i'm going to show the submarine one that's the one i did yesterday it was great okay let me move this up a little bit um, so you can, you guys can draw any, either one of them, um, if you wish. Um, what I was going to say is that they both actually have very similar forms. So, um, you know, they've got the little, um, the open. I just noticed, um, the one that we're doing right now has, um, a, um, a, um, toy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the screw, like the key. Yeah. 
And I can't tell yeah. if that's a hidden picture or not. Let me look at the thing. I think it might just be a funny way that they are powering the ship. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not listed as one of the hidden huh. pictures. The one underneath it has wait, I oh, see a, I, an umbrella. I see a um pie. I think we should just look. I think we should just see. Let me let me see if I can make this go. We'll just, I see a book. Just find all the pictures. I see a whistle. I see a boat. I see a nightcap. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm going to make it so you can see everything. I see a baseball bat. I see a triangle. I see a baseball bat. Is it too far away? Is that too far away? Can you guys no. Okay. <laughs> so let's do it one at a time. All right, so did somebody say baseball bat? Yeah, I said it. Okay, where is it? It's on the one um, in front oh, of I the top, on, to on top and on front, on um, in front of the, like, UFO one. UFO one. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. That. Okay, so this is the game. If Once you find one, <laughs> then you have to sketch it. <laughs> so watch i'll sketch the baseball bat so we've got a and you guys can you guys can sketch it with me um let me move this all the way over i found the toast it's on the bottom in the middle yes yes i see that too i've done this with my other classes it's actually really fun i see a pizza all right hold on I yes gotta, I just I and a pie with on the same one with the baseball bat. I got to let me see. I see. Huh, I don't know what that I is. I think that's Oh, a the nightcap. pepper. I just saw the pepper for the first time. That that is actually a slice a, of pie. pie. I know it is. It's oh, pie. Oh, there's another one that's a nightcap. Yes. The nightcap is on that same, we're, 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 we're crushed that ship. Um, oh, by the way, oh, I just this, that's a pizza. This ship has the a sailboat. Do you guys see the tack? There's a thumb tack. That's oh, yeah, I see it. Yes, all right, triangle. Yeah, does like anyone there. else see the sailboat? I see it. No, there's the Merlin hat. It's Ooh. on the you have one that Mr. Twist drew in the top left. Yes. Piece of pie. It's got pie crust. Okay, so what was that one, Brooks? I couldn't hear you. The one that you drew. So I did the baseball bat here. I did the thumbtack here. I did the Merlin eye here. I did the pizza pie That's here. That's a pizza. It's not that's a pizza. A, and it says it's, it's, it's a slice of pie. I don't think it's pizza. I think it's actually no, like, no. The other oh. one is pizza. It's They're two, right? Cap. It's a pointy cap. It's, oh, this it's is yeah. actually it's a yeah, pointy it's, hat. It's, that's a hat. It's like a Merlin hat. That looks like a piece of pizza. It does. It's a party it's hat. A it's a pizza. It's a piece of pizza with stars on it. it looks like a nightcap. Yes. Oh <laughs> yeah. That would make sense if you had a cap. I found the umbrella. The umbrella is on the UFO one. Did somebody say toast? I just see the toast here. Yeah. Yeah, Burke said it. Nice. All right, we're the toast. Yes, or it's actually technically a slice of bread. So I'm gonna go up. It's got curved edges, curved edges, flat bottom. It's got some pretty thick crust on it, which is a little unreasonable. No one, no, I don't think bread has crust that big. And then there's a texture of the you know the holes that are in leaven bread. So we'll put the little dots in there representing that. I think it's Did, didn't you see the um the um the umbrella. Don't forget to um draw the whistle and the um the hot chili pepper. Yes. Definitely. Um, the the whistle was it, I think the whistle was the first one we saw that Brooke saw. Yeah. Um, so the whistle, if you guys need help drawing the whistle, the whistle is like no joke. So the way that I sketched it, I'm just going to zoom in for one second. 
Um, mm, I can draw it here. So I drew the opening. I used a square and I put an outside square and inside square, almost like the framework. Um, honestly, almost like the framework of the uh, window frame. Like there's a there's a big outer arc and then there's an inner arc. So you have like a rectangle, which is a large rectangle, and then you have the smaller rectangle. And this is like where the where you blow into. That's like receives the wind, and then it goes down a channel, and then it gets into this rounded portion where the whistle has a little ball inside of there. And as the air releases out of this top chamber, it, it moves this ball and the wind spirals inside of it. And then that's the, it has to do with the angle of the release chamber that creates that whistle sound. And then the, 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 um, the, the piece of cork or the little plastic ball on the inside makes the, it, it like stops it and makes it erratic. So then the, the, the air comes out at like an irregular pace. So it's like, <laughs> so it's a high pitched sound, but it also has like a variance to it. Anyway, that like might be too long of an explanation, but I still, I really like the, um, I really like the form of a whistle and it's an interesting invention. You know, like when did they invent whistles? Well, I guess when they, when they made a flute, I guess when they, when they first started like blowing into, you know, wood, like into branches or something. Hey, the plumber is on the point of the lightning. The plumber. I didn't know if there was a plumber. All right, let a me zoom back out. You mean a... Let's find some of these. Let's, let's find some of these bad boys. Plunger? Where's the plumber? Oh, it's on the front of the... One is there a point? Oh my gosh, there is a plunger. There is. Oh, no, it's That's technically an it's technically an oil can. This one? Oh. It's oil can, but it looks like a plunger. That or a funnel. Yeah. That's a good one. Yes. So that one's got a rounded base. And then it angles it angles in. And then it gets a longer triangle attached to the end. That's fun. I, these are, I, I think it's fun to draw some, like just, just like sketch some simple things. This, um, I'm looking at the sailboat and the sailboat has got to be on one of the fins. Now I haven't found it yet, but did we do, we, did we sketch the, uh, we did sketch the umbrella. It's on the top left. I sketched my umbrella here. Yeah, I found it too. Top left. What was it? The no, book. The top the sailboat. Right, the whole paper. Oh, there it is. All right. So the, the spiral that comes around here, that last spiral is the base of the sailboat. So that makes like a semicircle. And then there's the sail attached to it. Nice one. Who found that? And that's one. Stacy did. Stand on the back. Good find, Stace. Michaela, Thank you. Thank on you. On board. Wait. Oh, get it? Way to get on board. Looks good. Looks real good. Okay, let's see. Um, Michaela, will you should hold that up one more time. Sorry. Yeah, I which missed one, it. Which Michaela. one did you do? Oh, yeah, you did and that. And freeze it. <coughs> that is a nice Thank one. you. Yeah, I like uh, your the, flame coming out the back. The book is kind of, I found the book that's on this one, that's on the submarine one. There's a couple ways of drawing that. You could draw the binding, which is a small rectangle. It's got a little bit curved. And then you could do the top of the book, which is like the cover. And that's just like a mm -hmm. kind of an angled rectangle. I'll write book, B-O-O-K. And then there's like the back cover, which probably has a thickness. And then that holds in all the pages. Happy about that. Did you find another one? Oh, I do know about one. 
which you guys might want to be get into at the moment, but you haven't seen it. It's not fair. This was not I fair. Found the hat. It's on the planet with the ring. <laughs> yeah, that was the one. That was one of them. So there's a baseball cap on that one. That's hilarious. Where? Where's the baseball cap? So this, it's like the ring of Saturn. Oh. Like the bottom of the planet. Okay. The ring. That's adorable. Yeah. And I wonder if there's something on the moon in one of the craters. Like, that looks like it could be a slipper. Slipper. You got it, dude. That's the one that I was, that's the one I was gonna show. I found that one yesterday. But the the um the screen the uh, not the screen but the the tripod was covering it up. Um, mm -hmm. The slipper is going to have the bottom of the slipper, and then that has a thickness to it. And then there's the part that the toe goes in, which is separate from where the heel is and the cushion part. So this is like the heel portion. And then I can slide that over and we can do the baseball cap. It's interesting. So you could almost, you could almost draw Saturn, draw the circle and then do the rings around it. And you can extrapolate that down here. And all you have to do is draw the rounded bottom and then the one part of the wings. Of the wing. Um, on Saturday, I'm going camping and my first Ooh. day of soccer. That sounds like it'll be fun. Are you going um, with family, Jacob? Um, yes, but not soccer. Well, my mom and dad are going to soccer. Right. Gotcha. Um, is your, have you been, did you have practice yet? Do you know who's on your team? Um, no, I've never had soccer before. Oh man, you're going to love it. And, um, that's my favorite sports. So you already know that you love it. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. I like soccer and baseball, uh, not baseball, basketball. I played fun. basketball. I played soccer when I was in elementary school. And then in sixth grade, I switched over to football. And then I played basketball forever. And then my, my mom's played soccer, but my dad hasn't. How about you, Michaela? Do you play? I played basketball and tennis. I didn't play any sports, but I did swimming and like other things. Hmm. Yeah, swimming is definitely a sport. Oh yeah, I did swimming too. At least I, I think I've always thought it was. And basketball. What's that, Brooks? I've done swimming, soccer, and basketball. Nice. Um, I learned to swim. I've only oh, done um swimming. Kayla, look at that planet. That's fantastic. Yeah, I like that you switched it. So instead of being above, like below the planet, or like above the planet, it came. Maybe it's the moon. Maybe it's the moon. Yeah. Hold that up again, Michaela. It is the moon. The moon with the hat. One of the moons. A is little bit the, higher. The Earth moon. I guess it would make sense that it was Earth moon. And a little higher. There you go. Thank you. I found another one. What'd you find? Oh, wait. These are, those are kind of easy. I, I kind of wanted to find some more planets. Ooh. Do you guys want to draw uh, like a, an imaginary um, planet, other planet? No. No. Okay. You want to keep sketching? You want to keep sketching some rocket ships? Um. I mean, we only have ten minutes left, so you might as well. I might as well. We might as well keep going. Um. Um. Among us, people are wait really quick. Um, so to draw. So. You guys want to? You want to try this? The circle one. The round one. 
Or should we try the UFO one? We can do the UFO one. I'm gonna do the circle one. Uh, whatever you say. Um, and I'll make it so that if you wanted to draw the one with the whistle, you can do that one too. So. Ta -ta. Let's see, Brooks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, all right, here we go. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. Straighten it out. You guys can see enough of that, right? I need a new piece of paper. Not that one. Yo. Uh -oh. Can you guys see this piece of paper that on the gray? It shows up, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to do the the same way I did the. Um, the other guys, I'm going to start where the um, the pod, you know, the, the connector of the the space shuttle glass pod, you know, where the person sits inside. I'm going to start with the, the, the where it meets the ship. And then from that curve, I'm going to do the saw portion. So the saw portion is how we hid the, this is how we hid the, uh, the seat that whatever it's called sailboat sailboat yeah so there's going to be some spirals that are radiating out it looks like a saw and then finally there's one back there that gives you the uh and i, I can actually draw the sailboat because if you if you don't know it's a sailboat it just looks like part of the ship which is good um okay so there's that saw portion of the rim and now we need the structural metal portion, which goes all the way around. And then we'll add a thickness. So oh, it's almost like a coin. Oh, sorry. I might lose a little bit of my blaster. I can come down a little bit. So when I said a coin, I mean like, you see how the, there's like the, um, you think about a dime or a quarter, they've got like these little ridges in the side. That's the, that's the side. The top is where the face is. No, it looks like um, candy coins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like little chocolate coins wrapped in the cellophane, gold and, ooh, guess what I found y'all. Look at the, look at that what? one, look at that one rocket booster. What? This is a bell. This little oval. A bell. Right see oh, bell? I see it now. A, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's thought it was a blaster. spotlight. It's a bell. It's a bell. Um, and then the other yeah. rocket booster on the other side looks almost exactly the same. Mm hmm. Almost as if it is a bell. Oh, Isabel. One good one. So yeah, I, I love the decorations on the um, on the top part. So the bell, the the part where you hang the bell, you know, from the string, that gives you like a little circle. And to hide that, the artist put these little ovals going all the way around the ship. So I mean, are they part of the what make the ship? Are they rivets? Are they bolts? I don't know. I think it's really just a decoration that helps hide the, like the, like the, the bell, the bell strap. I think they're like whites that go around in a circle. Say it again, Brooks. I think they're like whites on the edge of a ship. Ooh, yes. Oh. That would make sense. The other one what um what do you call um um a spy that lives in outer space? Um, I know. What? A spy that lives in outer space is what I would call it. 
Um. Not right. Not That's right. not right, Stacy. No space. Uh, no. Um. He's making a joke. <laughs> I forget. No, I'm please thinking. tell me. Tell us if Five you remember. Outer space. I forget. What's another name for a spy? I don't know. Agent. agent. Yeah. yeah. Agent. I forgot that. What Outer. do you call a nut that that lives in space? Hmm. A nut that lives in outer space? Yeah. Astronaut? Astronaut. Oh, I see the slipper oh. now. That was good. Oh, yeah, there's a slipper. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I think this is a nail, too, at the end of this one. That's a nail. Yeah. This one is kind of hard. I might actually start with the... Uh, Whistle. Jacob, are you excited? I can't see you anymore. Oh, there you go. Um, best art class ever. Um, here I go, guys. I'm going to start with that whistle. And I, hopefully I draw it better than I did the first time. Start with the oval. I mean, excuse me. Start with the rectangle. Inner rectangle. I'm going to do the side. And the side of the whistle looks like the letter P. If you think about it like that, that might be helpful. What's that, Brooks? What's that, Brooks? I think I found something on the oh on the bottom right of the screen. Let me look. It's on the thruster. Oh, I just found something on a thruster, too. What is it? Well, do you see like where the hot so pepper cool. is? Yeah. Look at the opposite thruster. It kind of looks like looks like a toothpaste. A cup. I think it looks like toothpaste. What does it? Oh, a toothpaste. Is it something? I don't um, know. Maybe we could. Let's look at the bottom. Is that okay? If we yeah. look at the. Thing with all the items. Oh, I just found one. <laughs> Let me zoom out. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. I never even saw this one down here. Oh, it's a banana. There's a banana. Where? That guy's got the banana. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And then this one, this is the ladle. You see the gravy ladle? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. I love the banana one, though. I got to sketch that guy really quick. Oh, my gosh. The guy's got a helmet. <laughs> the helmet has antenna on it. And there's definitely an alien inside of that, I think. That is not, like... That's not a, everyone else is a person. That one's like an actual alien. Um, did you guys hear what Elon Musk, uh, Elon Musk tweeted the other day? He said that uh, he made, no. he said he made a case for the most compelling evidence that aliens don't exist or that UFOs don't exist. Yeah. Because he said that, um, as the technology of the cameras, the lenses, and the photographs have gotten better, higher resolution, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> those have like been steadily climbing. So everyone's got better cameras. The cameras are like stronger, better color, and everything. But the resolution of photographed UFOs has stayed exactly the same from like the seventies on. So it's like none of the technology, none of <laughs> actual photographs of you know, UFOs have gotten higher quality. And if there were UFOs, oh, then they would have higher quality um, photos of them. That's funny. I don't know. He, he's in, he, Elon Musk is an interesting guy and he is, you know, someone to watch. I mean, he's 
making some interesting things happen. And he's, you know, since we're doing outer space, I mean, he's currently the, he's the, he's the guy that's trying to get us to outer space. Ooh, yeah. All right. So I did, I did like this ring, just like the one that we did at the top, the other circular one that had the, um, all those little, you know, lights that we, I think we determined there were lights and then it looks like it's in a bowl, but it's not really a bowl. It's a banana. So this is the banana chip. Uh, it could be the fruit bowl. Oh, good one. So the key to sketching this one is, you know, doing the banana and then kind of hiding, like making the other, the rim on the other side, like balanced. So the part of the banana the tip of the banana is the rocket booster. So then the, the frame on the other side has a little section and that's also a rocket booster. There's a bumper on that one. And it seems like there's some ridges and stripes in the metal as well. It's uh, the, the paper is surprisingly um, light on um, my the paper on it here uh, uh, you know where i am is much darker and it shows up really nicely on the screen um i don't know if they all have this but these bottom ones have these stripes that make it at least look like they could be moving um or they could be part of the ship I'm not exactly oh yeah sure. i just i'm not sure so we can add some some of those to make it feel like it's moving I mean, it could be part of the ship. Um, Michaela, you got a lot of work done. Even if you came in a little bit late, that is an impressive co uh, composition. Wow. Hold that a little bit closer to you, Michaela. Oh, uh, did you put earth in there? Yes. Yeah. Hold that, Max. And hold that nice and still. Nice. I'm gonna put Earth in there. Nice, that color is so sweet. Want to see? I'm gonna make Earth really quickly. There's North America, South America, Europe, and then if I have it's 401. Oh no! I guess we have to stop. I was gonna, I was gonna get a piece of white chalk and put a, uh, put a little ice cap on the North Pole. <laughs> Can you hold white, your, There's my white. Trevor, can you yeah. hold your drawing up just a bit? Like that? No, up. Like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Okay, you tell me when you're ready. <laughs> this is the void. This is outer space. I'm gonna make constellations. Have you ever seen the void in, in any game? No. Do you play much games? I looked at a I looked at a Morocco painting that was all black. And a couple of things like in Roblox. Can you remove that uh, yellow square, Trevor? No. Oh. I don't know. Supposedly it fades away. I wonder if it's constantly adjusting. Maybe I'll put it in this bottom corner. Anyway, ah, I um, like that. All right, let's see. Let's let's have a. Can we have like a quick share? I'm just gonna stop the share. Can we just like can I see what you did? I didn't. I, Jake, let's see that, Jake. Oh, work. Jacob, hold that nice still. Jacob, you use blue, right? Nice work. That looks like blue. Brooks. I think Jacob's got a couple more. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Are we going back to to Jacob? Uh, replace pen. I will. There's the windows. Nice job. Mm hmm. You should. Uh, uh, you should try the um, the windows with a compass. Oh, good work. Nice dinosaur tree. Oh, you got, we're looking at different things, I think. Oh, Jacob, hold on one sec. And keep that uh, nice right, and Brooks, still. Let's see, the, um, let's see the other ones. Very nice. 
Thank it's you. Scooby Doo and Shaggy. Of course. <laughs> that was some last. Week. Okay, hold on. And they're licking. Um, and they're licking. Um, and they're like. More books. And then they're and they're pie, pie, um, pie f flying up, and they're going to eat it. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see the last one. Is this the last one, Brooks? Yep. Yeah. These are really fun. Yeah, it's my favorite. Wow, that's moving. Trevor, can can we um, go back to yours when you did your first several um, airships? Not the banana one, but the other ones. Um, I can't actually. I don't know where they are. And I have to go. Okay, um, goodbye. I got this other class coming in. I'm sorry. Um, Take care, everyone. Good work, everyone. We'll see you next week. Stay so call you in a couple minutes. Okay, bye. All right, bye, bye everybody. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. So much for bye. Kayla, great work. Bye. Everybody, great job. Jacob, it's so fun, Brooks. It's always a pleasure.